Hello Python programming students. Today we're going to look at another way we can use the print function or the print command in Python to display output. Sometimes as a programmer you may have multiple items you want to print at the same time. Uh, some, Of course you could just put those all in one sentence but you can also break those up and sometimes most often times they will come in the forms of data uh, that is not together to start with. So one way we can do that is what we're going to look at today. So go ahead and log into your code HS so that you can follow along with me uh, as we uh, do this video. And we're going to use, it's not a lesson in code HS, but we're going to use the sandbox in code HS. So up here in the upper left corner, you'll see sandbox. So you click on sandbox. And right here in this section, right here where it says create a new program, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to name this Python 1, Module 1, Lesson 2, Notes. Okay. And um, then at the uh, end of this, just so that you have your name, we'll put your first initial and last name. First initial and last name. And then you click the Create Program button, and it's going to ask you what type of language do you want that to be. So this is very important. Make sure that you choose Python 3, Python 3, so that the correct interpreter will be created or will, will be used when you run the program. All right, so this looks very familiar to you, and it just starts with the basic print hello world. So remember, we looked at this yesterday. Whatever is inside the parentheses, inside either single quotes as it is here or double quotes will be displayed on the screen when you hit the run button. But there's also another way to display information on the screen. So um, don't worry about what this is right now. You're going to learn this a little later. Another way to display information. But you notice that it's green so it's something different uh, using the print function. <clears throat> so uh, generally we can do this. So try, try this and see what happens. And just type it in exactly the same way I'm typing it in here. We'll go ahead and make it grammatically correct. Capitalize that first word. And then here, type your name or your favorite cartoon character, favorite movie star, whatever name you want to put in there. And then here you can also customize this to make it whatever your favorite food is. All right, so make sure you have that much information. Print my name is inside double quotes comma outside the quote Mr. Mace or whatever your name is inside double quotes comma outside the quote and then just to make it grammatically correct since we have a compound statement here we're going to put a comma inside the quote and I like pizza go ahead and hit the run button and see what happens so notice that it printed all of that information but there's something weird going on right here where the comma is. So notice that it put a space after the is. We did not have one. It put a space after mace. We did not have one there. And it put a space. It didn't put a space anywhere else. So it's so this is another way to print using the or to display information using the print function. And so notice that uh, you just separate your items by your comma. And so um, you, you just want to be careful and not add extra spaces. So just to fix this uh, so that we don't have that extra space there, I'm going to take out that comma and we'll run it again. And it looks a little better, even though grammatically it's not correct. We're going to come back later and see how we can fix that. You're going to learn that a little later. I don't want to show you too much right now. So the syntax, and this is something important for this, and we're going to keep adding to this print function. There's a couple other things we're going to do uh, with the print function is print.
print and then whatever the first thing you want to print the second thing you want to print the third thing you want to print etc okay so you can print as many things with a comma as you wish and it will display that information uh, on the screen with a space at the end of each thing. Now the last thing I want to show you before I turn you loose on the activity for yourself is yesterday remember we talked about um, we talked about printing a quote and we saw that we could not do that if we just did this. Okay, so remember we did print and then we did quote, 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 trying to print that quote in the middle. And remember this gave us an error. So just to refresh your memory, run code, we get a syntax error. So it doesn't really know what to do. And it says line 12. So don't worry about that. There's a couple things going on uh, at the uh, in the processor and, and what it's running. So don't worry about the line number being off. I'm not exactly sure why that is. So I'm going to comment that out so that that doesn't create that error. But here is how we could display double quotes. So to dis this is one way. And again, we're going to learn another way later. So if I want to print something like he <coughs> he said, quote, I am a rock star. Now, notice the difference here. Notice we started the string with a single quote. We ended the string with a single quote. And we put the double quotes inside the string. So let's see what happens. We run the code. And notice that those quotes show up now. So this is one way to display double quotes. To display double quotes on the screen, you simply wrap them in single quotes. Now, I'm not going to do this, but I want you to answer this in your notes and try it out here while you're experimenting. How do you think that you can display single quotes on the screen. Let me fix my typos. So answer that question. How do you think you can display single quotes on the screen? And so that uh, concludes our lesson for this one, uh, Python 1, Module 1, Lesson 2 Notes. Uh, so make sure again as you, uh, you're going to save this program now. And so to save this program, um, hit the save button right here and then if you wanted to share your program with your parents or somebody you could just by hitting the share and it gives you a link and you can make other people you can make it public or, or not that's totally up to you uh, so I just wanted to make sure you had that and then what happens when you go back to your sandbox after it's finished saving you go back to your sandbox and that program will show up down here. And this little blue box with the 3 in it means you did create it in Python 3 and then also over here. So I will be able to go in and see those. Uh, as a teacher, I'll be able to go in and see those programs here. And then I will probably get you to share the link in the Canvas activity as well uh, for when you want to upload your program as well. All right. Um, hope you have a great day. Thank you.